Wow, man. Yeah, I got a little hit of jazz on that. For that being a girl's toy? Yeah, buddy. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. It's Saturday morning. I'm getting a little bit of a late start. Yeah, sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. I got caught in traffic. It's like 9.15 and I'm hitting up old thrifty pants. Thrift Giants. We're gonna head in here today. We're gonna see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves. Maybe we'll find something epic. Keep a little vintage on the mind because what we think about is what we bring about. Our innermost dominant thought becomes our outermost tangible reality. These ain't opinions. These are facts. Today, we're thinking 80s vintage. All right, fingers crossed. As always, Thrift Gods. Be good to me today. What do we got on the shelves today? What's down here? Oh, it's just the head. So no head? Oh, it looks like we got a Power Ranger Megazord here. Oh, it looks like we got a Woody. Oh, he's got some articulation. It's like an action figure. So long, partner. And what do we got here? Looks like we got some sort of dinosaur T-Rex. Does his mouth open? Oh yeah, he's got batteries. I like his eyeball. All right guys, well these shelves were pretty weak, so I'm gonna go hit up these shelves in the back and then I'll probably take a run through the store here and look at these shelves here. Sometimes kids pick stuff up and lay them on the shelves, so I'll do a little sweep through the store and then afterwards we'll head off to Goody Will. Let's see, anything over here? Oh, it looks like we got a box of something. Maybe like Littlest Pet Shop or something. Uh, what do we got here? We got some spy gear. Sonic Distractors. I don't know what that is. And then there's the Star Wars 12 Days of Socks. It's funny. Star Wars. <laughs> nothing but Star Wars. All right, guys. Store numero uno. Busted. All right, so let's head off to Goodwill. See what they got over there. Let's go see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Ha <laughs> ha. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Ha <laughs> ha. Fingers crossed. Goodwill vintage gods be good to me today. Hope we find something cool in here, man. I need to, need to find something to get that jazz going. All right, let's see. What do we got here today? Got this Transformer, Bumblebee. We've got the Chinook. It's some sort of transformer. I don't know if he's complete or not. I will look into that. Look at this old Tonka truck. And we got a Buzz Lightyear with a missing foot. Sheriff, this is no time to panic. And some sort of punching bag or something. Green Goblin, we've got Doc Ock on there. Rhino. Dang, look at this thing. Wow, that's really cool. I like the colors on it. Oh man, I almost missed this. Look at this TMNT vehicle. What year is this from? Looks like it's from 2013. It's pretty cool though. I've not seen one before. And I've got lots of TMNT that would fit in here. I'm gonna look it up and I think I'm gonna get it no matter what anyway, but I'm gonna see if it's missing any parts. They only want $1.91 for it, so it's worth it. Hey, let's check this out. It's a TMNT pixel puzzle. I've never seen one of those. All right, so I'm gonna get this dinosaur and I'm gonna get this. So let's go check out the glass case next. All right, let's see what they got in the glass case. Oh, what's this? Jazz baby. Looks like they got a Cabbage Patch Kid, Mickey and Marvin. Oh, check out that Beatles, that's cool. You say you want a revolution. Yeah, they got some cool stuff over here. Guys, this thing sells for like a hundred bucks. Wow, man. Yeah, I got a little hit of jazz on that. For that being a girl's toy? <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so um, we'll do a quick little show and tell. I ended up putting the John Lennon thing back. I thought it was $2.99. It ended up it was $29.92. So I said, no thank you. How about new? 
I said, I'll take it for $2.99 though. And she's like, no, it's $29.99. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at what I picked up. Okay, so first up, I got this really awesome plush dinosaur. It's made by a company called Fiesta. And from what I can tell on eBay, plush dinosaurs are selling pretty good. So I thought I would snag him. I'll probably start by listing him on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $5.95 for him. I think I'm going to put a price tag on him of like $20 to $25. It's pretty cool. He's really big. He's got these nice vibrant colors. I think this would look great in some kids uh, you know, some kids bedroom or, or playroom or whatever, especially for kids that are really into dinosaurs. And then we ended up with this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vehicle, which it does some sort of transformation, I guess. That's kind of cool, man. So, I picked this up. I got it for $1.91. And I almost missed it. I almost looked it over. I don't know if it's missing pieces or not. It looks like there might be something that's maybe broken off right there. I don't know. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. And I think it's just going to stay in my personal collection. I've got some TMNT figures that I'll put down in there. And they'll, it'll make for some really cool photo ops. All right. And here is my big money score of the day. The Jazz Baby Barbie Collection Gold Label. This exact Barbie doll sold on November 1st, not that long ago, for $133. And I got her for $10.01, man, that is so cool. I am definitely gonna list this on Marketplace immediately. I'll list it today, and hopefully we sell it pretty quick. So maybe somebody's looking to add this to their collection for Christmas. Maybe it'll be a Christmas gift to themselves. Anyway, we got skunked at Thrift Giant, but old Goody Will pulled through. So off to the next store. I'm not sure which one that's going to be. I don't think I'm going to hit up all the thrift stores today. I normally hit up five on the weekend over here in Louisville. I normally do it on Friday, but today's Saturday. But I'm going to go hit up these uh, other stores and see if we can pull out another win or two. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Well, we're not, not other than thrift shitty. So we're going to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves. Keep our fingers crossed. Pray that the vintage thrift gods are good to us today. Haven't scored any vintage yet, but there's always a possibility. All right, let's see what they got in here. All right, what do we got down here? That looks like a Maleficent. I might have to look that up. All right, well, let's see what they got on the shelves. What's this? Uh, you know what that is? That's a Power Rangers sword. I wonder if that's worth anything. All right, anything else? We got a busted up helicopter. Anything on these shelves? Power Rangers playset. Let me see if I can get it to light up. Yeah, see? It lights up. Looks real awesome in the dark, by the way. Okay, so it turns out in this condition, what they call like the nude condition, no clothes, I saw her selling for like 15 to 20 bucks. And the thing is though, not many of her have sold in this condition, but when they did sell, they were 15 to $20. So they only want $1.99 for the bag. It's a buck 99. I guess I could try and take a gamble on it. This isn't the real Caesar's Palace, is it? Even if I could sell it for 10 bucks, right? All right, yeah, let's get it. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, let's see what we got in the glass case. Nothing. I'm buying girls toys today. <laughs> You're swinging like a lip-wristed beta male feminist. Man, who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? But yeah, I'll get her home and list her. Maybe I can flip her for 10, 15 bucks. That'd be sweet. All right, I think we're gonna go hit up Goodwill next and then we're gonna call it a day. All right, my friends, final destination. Not about the destination, yada, yada. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> Keeping vintage on the mind still. We're gonna pull out a win. Just like Coach always said. I like saying that. Just like Coach always said, finish strong. So, all right, let's see what they got in there. Fingers crossed. 
vintage Goodwill Gods. Be good to your boy. All right, well, let's see what they got. Well, the shelves are full. Now we just gotta sort through them. This, wow, that is really epic. I just got rid of a bunch of my vehicles, but this one is cool. All right, I'm gonna grab this. And we got some dinosaurs down here, some baby toys. What's over here? Oh, we got some sort of jet. It's missing the canopy though. I'm fly. I'm pilot. And maybe like an elk. Oh yeah, he's from that Disney movie. Is that Frozen? I can't remember. We got a remote control dragon. What is this? Optimus Prime. Child costume. Oh, it's a costume. Let's roll. And what have we got over here in the plushy section? Anything? I'm not seeing nothing. Okay, so I probably shouldn't get this just because I just got rid of a bunch of vehicles, just sold a bunch of them on Marketplace. But man, this thing is cool. I like the colors of it. I like the stickers on it. It's a 2006 Lannard Combat Jeep, and it's pretty cool. And I think it's got all its pieces. Anyway, I can get it for $2.42. It's not really worth a whole lot of money. It's worth like, I see people trying to sell it for like 12 bucks, but I would just keep it in my collection. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll get it. Hey, what is this? Uh, whatever this is, it looks like it's missing pieces. All right, what do we got over here? We got a Star Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy bobblehead. Hmm, what do they want for that? Five bucks. He's only selling for like six to twelve dollars on eBay. They want five for him. Maybe if they had wanted like a dollar ninety-nine, I would get him. But I think I'm gonna pass, even though he is really cool. What do we got here? We got a beast with his head like all twisted and combobulated. And then we got this shark plush. All right, well, we got it. I mean, look at that thing. It's awesome. We'll take a little closer look at it in the car. Do a little show and tell. All right, well, here it is. The Lannard 2006 Combat Jeep. So it's got these doors that pop open. Here's what the inside is. We'll take a look at the dash. And then they also have, close that up. They also have these little hatches right here that pop open. So the machine gunner can sit right there. And then we got the guy running the spotlight over here. And then on the back side here, we have this big, this big boy, this big gun. And it looks like two M60s welded together, like a double barrel M60. How about that, man? A double barrel M60. Dang. All right, so then you got a guy that would stand right back there as well. I don't know if the hood pop no, it doesn't. So, but this, this is pretty sweet, man. Like I said, I love the colors. I love the stickers on it. The colors of the stickers really go well with the color of the Jeep. They match. So yeah, I love it. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That was today's thrifting adventure. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. If you did, uh, smash the like button. Give me a like. Likes are free. They don't cost anything and it really helps me out. So if you could just hit the like button, also give me a follow on Instagram and tickety talk at 80s toys rock and rock is spelled R O C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.